Well, good day farmers. Welcome back to Farm Sim 19. Today, we have some new mods and updates. Let's get into these. Uh, first is a small Polish chicken coop. Um, this is out by Casper. I'm hoping I'm saying it right, if not Casper. Small Polish chicken coop for 26 chickens. Price is 500 euros. Upkeep, 1 euro per day and season's ready. Um, we have the hedge pack. This is out by 20mm Normandy. Uh, this pack contains three different hedges in two sizes. One and four meters cost is one meter, ten euros, and the four meter is thirty-five euros. Medium garage, um, daily cost is fifteen dollars. Price is seventeen thousand dollars. Seasons ready. Two trolley. Um, you do not always need a workshop to service and repair your vehicles and machines. A well-filled toolbox is also enough. Price is two hundred eighty-five euros. Daily upkeep one euro. Um, we have a shed, daily upkeep 10 euros, price is 3,000 euros. We have a wood garage for storing machines, price is 10,000 euros, upkeep 5 euros per day, season's ready. We have a small outbuilding, small warehouse building, daily upkeep 10 euros, price is 12,000 euros, season's ready. Um, we have the block house. Price is 55,000 euros, upkeep 150 euros per day, season's ready. We have the Star ST Max 150 and 180. Um, this is out by Agro Tanho. Um, price is 110,000 euros, options of 150 and 180 horsepower. Single, wide, double, and narrow tire options, front load or hitch, glass color options, options with or without GPS. Normal or Brazilian hitch, mud guard settings, option with or without reverse whistle, two models of different front weights, and has door and window animations. We have the John Deere 6R US series. Um, US and Canada version. Base price of 154500 Engine configurations of 6175R, which is 223 horsepower. You got 243 horsepower and 259 horsepower. Um... You have features of front weights, beacon lights, front fenders, protection grid, 100 year celebration stickers, Starfire 6000 options, animated door and windows, foldable side indicators. You have the Lemkin 11 HST by Hemerson Dent Inho. I'm hoping I'm saying that right. Uh, power requirements of 120 horsepower, price is $18,000, working with 3 meters. You have the ESNR17 by Blue King. Power requirements of 130 horsepower, it's $10,000 and 4.5 meters. You have the Lizard D20 by Marcos SD uh, Talen Agro Mods. This is a backpack sprayer used for small services, very useful and low price. Optional canvas, optional colors, contains lights on the board, capacity of 20 liters, maximum speed of 50 kilometers an hour. Power of, of 20 horsepower, working with 3.3 meters, manufacturer of a lizard, working speed 10 kilometers an hour, and cost is 1,000 euros. We have the MK7900 by Game Master Blue King. Price is 8,000, capacity of 15,000, wheels configuration. We have the Coeco Profi 220 by STV Modding. Um, it's 84,200 euros, power of 200 horsepower, max working speed of 17 kilometers per hour, capacity 23,200 liters, working with 15 meters, new skin, colors design, axle telescopic function. We have the Lizard T6000. Um, the Lizard T6000 is a liquid manure tank that is well suited for small to medium sized businesses with a working width of 9 meters. Baffle plate and 12 meters high pressure is perfect for companies that operate in the mountains. Price from 25,000 euros, working with 9 meters and 12 meters. Capacity 6,000 liters. Required power of 45 horsepower. Max working speed of 18 kilometers an hour. We have the Carre, or Carre Rotinet Control by Simu Lagrer Modding. I'm hoping I'm saying that right. Rotary hoe, weed with surgical precision. Price start at 31,600 euros. Max working speed of 16 kilometers per hour. Required power of 110 horsepower and working with 6.5 meters. 
And now for the last and final mods. We got three new maps in today. One is Griffin Indiana 19 by AJ Farmer. You're now the proud owner of a small farm located around Griffin Indiana USA. The equipment is old and is in need of repairs. Luckily there's a workshop in the shed to make the repairs. With hard work and a little luck you'll be able to expand the farm. As there are 62 farmlands and 36 fields and with 212 hectares available on this highly detailed map. When not farming you could try your hand at forestry or ride your horse or ATV on one of the many trails in the area. If you get lost just follow trail head signs. Be careful not to wander too deep in the forest at night as there have been rumors of Bigfoot activity. Okay. Map features, precision farming ready, seasons ready, real soil data, real terrain data, custom sounds, riding trails, forest area, BGA, field contracts, transport contracts, vehicle traffic, pedestrian traffic, train, Lyman's fuel station, standard crops, all standard sale locations, 62 farm lands, 36 fields, which is 212 hectares, small, medium, large fields, helper friendly, combinable fields, Real Picture PDA, Real Picture Borders, and High FPS. So we want to thank AJ Farmer for bringing this to console. It looks really swell and looks really good to want to do. We have Le Rizal del Nord by Black Eyes Modding. In this area of Italy, you can find ponds and large fields of rice, being the area purely known for its large rice production. This map is inspired by an area of the Pianura Padana between the Pio River and the Sessi River from which many farmers draw to flood their rice fields called Rizé. There are some areas mainly used for forestry activity. The choice of using an area as a paddy field or for forestry varies in relation to the climatic characteristics of the moment and the pre presence of irrigated resources. The map consists of 55 fields, 38 of which are floodable for rice cultivation. There are waterways with relative locks to regulate the flooding of the fields. The size of the fields varies from a minimum of 1.323 hectares to a maximum of 7.23 hectares. It is possible to produce corn mash to feed pigs or for the sale of the same using the special forage harvester, necessary pack forage harvester. In addition to the classic crops excluding uh, sugarcane, there are sorghum, protein pea, alfalfa, rice, and chickpeas. Three different bunker silos are also available as positionable in the classic version for the production of compost and for the production of corn mash. To produce corn mash, the corn must be harvested with a special forage harvester deposited in a special trench available among the placeable, compacted, and covered just like silage. Okay. And last but not least, Richport by White Bull Modding. Richport, an American-based map Mainly, it has a flat terrain with some individual hills with beautiful nature surrounding the map. You have 15 fields to work on. The crops have custom textures. The map has a lot of big meadows, forests on the north of the map. The farm is in the middle of the map. All the main objects on the farm were made by our team. There is a, a lot of sheds so you won't have a problem with parking big vehicles on the farm. There's also a workshop for fixing vehicles. The house is very big and has the ability to go inside of it. On the farm, there's also a couple of silos that are all useful. On the map, there are also three animal barns, cows, sheep, and chicken coop, and horse ranch. Besides the ranch, there's a place for exercising horses with different objects. There are also two small towns with cell points. The shop is very modern looking like. There's also a gas station with a shop and washing station. All objects are in the shop, so you can put them whenever you want. Seasons ready and manure system. So we want to thank White Bull Modding for bringing this to console as well. This looks like a very great map to want to work on. So that is all for the new mods and updates today. Stay tuned and there will be more to come this week.